Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I'm a Soul Crafty Teacher. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Embrilliance Essentials in 15 minutes. Let's go. Before we get started with today's video, I'd like to give a shout out to Liz from Coffee Power Home. Thank you for being a true crafty scholar my whole year on this channel. I appreciate your support and if you have not followed her, go ahead and follow her at Coffee Power Home. Now let's get back to the video. So getting ready to jump into Embrilliance, just follow along. And remember, if you have any questions and comments about what I'm doing today, please leave them in the comments down below. Let's get started. First, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go up here to the top bar. So let's talk about the main bar and the two bar. With any program, you're gonna have your main, all your different ones, your file, edit, utility, view, zoom, and help. Help is where you would go put in your serial number after you have purchased. Um, the software. Um, so here we have, this was the main menu. This is a toolbar. You click here. It will take you to a new document. You're starting over. You want to start a new design. Boom. You have it right here. This is your save folder. So, so if you have a file that you already know that you want to start working on or you have already saved, you can go to this folder here. It allows you to open a file. This one is the save button. So it allows you to save the current design that you see on your page. It will now save all of the designs. So make sure whatever you clicked on that you go in and you save each individual one. And then we have the print, um, which allows you to print your designs, also print your steps. And then I can use that design to center it um, on my garment and also to it prints out the steps. So if you have five different colors, they'll tell you when you use step in step one if you're using red, step two if you're using uh, blue and so on. If you just hover over the icons, it will give you more information about it. All right, so print. This is allow you to copy and paste so you have a design. Say if you want the name five times on a certain design that you want to do, you're going to click on um, copy and then here's the paste. So it'll paste that same design within your current design that you're working on. So it will not open another window. It will copy and paste, but you can open another window, copy it from one untitled document and then put it in. This one's the undo. If you make a mistake, you click undo and then this is redo. So uh, you make a mistake or you need to go forward. And this is to show your stitches in 3D. So we're going to go over all of this today. So 3D stitches. Again, it's a magnifier tool. Um, kind of works similar to the zoom in, zoom out tool, which we have right here. Um, this is one of my favorite tools. And it's to measure on screen. It doesn't matter if you zoomed in or zoom out. It will actually measure um, your design. So the next one is the stitch simulator. The stitch simulator allows you to see how your design will look from start to finish. And I'm gonna give you a little quick look at that in just a minute. Also we have the mouse click. Say if you clicked on any one of these and you're still, so if I'm in measure and you're like, oh no, what do I do? One, you can just click on the icon again and take it away. But if you are here, you're like, I need to go back. And like, um, I'm trying to get back to the arrow so that I can select something else different. So you just go and click on the arrow and take you back. So you have, it becomes your mouse again, your selecting tool, rather than anything else that you have um, used. Here is where you click on for your hoops. This is important. Before I start any design, I make sure I choose my hoop size. I want to make sure that I have enough room to create the design. And I want to make sure that I'm creating within my parameters. So let's look at the different sizes. They come with some preset sizes. Um, you can also go in and create one. So right now I have a five by seven, or you can look um, here at the inches. So this is five by seven, seven by five, um, five by five. So a lot of these here are already created in millimeters format, but you can go in and convert it or change it to inches. What I did with most of them, um, I clicked through and I can tell that, well, 12 inches is 300 millimeters. So if I use 12 inches again, I know that's going to be one of my numbers. And if I click here, the second, the second number is 100. That's four inches. So if I want a 12 by eight design, I need 300 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And you don't have to try to figure out the math. Go to Google, type in converter millimeters two inches and it will show you exactly um, the measurement 
and the inches that you need. I would say the one that I use the most are the 5x5 five five for a lot of my left chest designs, 8x13 for some of my bigger designs if I'm using my brother, my baby lock, um, and 7x7 seven seven if I'm doing a kid's top, usually under 2T, I will use the 7x7 seven seven and 2T. Um, 2T, 3T or higher, it really depends on the garment. I will move up to an 8x9, an 8x9 is equivalent to Lissimo Quattro, so which is your area for you to actually design is 8x8. Um, but your if you have like a mighty hoop or something like that, it's 8x9. And also I use um, 10x10. 10x10 is something I use on my um, Rakoma. Um, before we select a hoop, remember we are just looking at the grid. We don't have those dimensions already set for us. We need to go into a uh, hooping. So let's do that. Um, I am going to use my 5x5 five five hoop. So we're going to click on 5x5. Five five. I'm going to hit OK. You don't see it, right? Because I only said in my view that I wanted to see draw stitches in 3D and the grid. So if I click on draw hoop, then I'll have my hoop. So this hoop is 5x5. Five five. So let's keep going. This icon has allowed you to merge design from the library. And the library is the one that they have already provided for you that comes with your software. I hardly ever use anything in here, but I'm going to click in so that you can see it. So you have different um, different types of shapes and it also allows you to create your different texts within those shapes to line up perfectly just like the one you see right here. Okay the next one I'm going to click on is this blue A. Blue A is for lettering. So if you want to add text, you want to type, add any words or single letters or any other letters, you will need to click on this blue A. So I'm going to click on the A. And then if you see it opens up a, another window in the bottom right and it has text, font, style, slant, space, top and bottom. So to change the text, I'm just going to highlight this or you can just go in and backspace it and I'm just going to type in my name, which is Alicia. So I have Alicia. And say if you do not like this font, um, you can always go in and download more fonts and I'll show you that in another video. But in this video, I'm just going to use the block font, which is um, on every brilliance essential you see it goes to the color doesn't mean it has to stay that color because I'm going to show you how to change the color let's keep going all right so we can click on co one color and so right now it's blue palettes are the colors that you already have in your design which I already have blue and threads are um, the list of all the colors that's available to you. So I want this to be, let's say, magenta. So magenta, I'm going to click on OK, and it turns to magenta. So I have that because I'm going to do a couple other things. I want to make sure um, that you understand how to do. Um, you also can change the style of your text. Let me show you. If I go down here to style and I click on vertical, you have it's vertical, it's up and down. If I click on square right, it's going to square up my font. Um, but if you still have that one letter that you feel like it's just too far away, one thing I would do is you can click on here, click on that middle green dot, and you can move that letter. So you can move it left, right, up, down, just like that. Okay, so I'm click off. And now I'm going to go to stitch. Okay, so the main two, now you are able to adjust um, your stitches whether you want them to be thinner or thicker you can do some other things to them but for this video I want you to learn the basics of how to get in create your design send to your jump drive and stitch it out so your main two are um, color and letters so make sure you have letters so now you're done with letters you're like okay it's great now have a design so you say okay now I have letters what about the design because I know a lot of people that watch this channel um, do children's shirts and adult shirts you want to know how do I get that design from that place to the next okay so one of the things here the next box I'm going to tell you about, this is called Merge a Stitch File. So right now, I just have my name. Merge, you're going to bring them together. This is where you merge your design with lettering or other designs. Yeah, let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on Merge a Stitch File. On my left-hand side are all my files. So if you know you've saved your file as, you know, whatever you named it, 
or you downloaded whatever name that was attached to that download. So today I'm going to use the pumpkin sketch so it shows me all the different ones that I have. And you might say, wait a minute, this is really little. Okay, so it's hard to see. You can go click on size. It'll give you a medium size and then give you a large size so that you know um, what it looks like before you choose to merge that design or add a design to your window. All right, so you went in, you selected all, and you say, hey, I'm not gonna use all of these designs. What can I do to just check one? So go click in that white area choose your design you want this one right here in the middle so once you have it you're going to click import and it sends your design right to your working area your design window so you have it there so let's go back and look at the stitch simulator that i was just talking about you actually get to see how your design will stitch out it's pretty cool keep watching just hover over it and it will tell you to run the stitch simulator so you're going to click on that you can determine how slow you want it to stitch out. So you can press play and stitch out very slowly. I like to move mine all the way up and it goes fast. So everything in that design window, you don't have to select everything. It would automatically stitch your whole design that's in your design view. So we're just gonna let it stitch out pretty cool so you're able to see what it look like if there are some stitches that are off um, okay so right now your design is showing in 3d um, 3d allows you to see what it would look like if it was actually stitched out and if you did not want to see that and you wanted to look at a different view um, just the regular stitches you can go and click 3d and it will show you just all the stitches all the jump stitches everything that is part of the design. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a couple other features. Kinda of gave you an overview of the toolbar and the main menu. Let's go back and try out some of those features from the toolbar. You have the option to click copy and paste um, and you do copy and paste, you can go to edit and copy and paste as well. But I just like using the icons, it's just so much easier. So we have copy and here I want the design. So I'm gonna to go to that clipboard with my copy design, hit paste. And now I have two designs. So if I wanted two of the same, or if I was making patches, um, or if you have several names that you're gonna put on things and you just want a list of them, copy and paste is your best friend. So the next thing is the magnifying tool. Um, it just allows you to zoom in and zoom out. So you can click on this to zoom in and zoom out. And you also have this toggle bar here where you can zoom in and zoom out your design so that you're able um, to see close up what it looks like. Like I said, you can change it from 3D uh, stitches or regular stitches. So right now mine are still currently in 3D. All right, so one of my favorite tools is this measure icon, which I went over in the beginning. This allows you to measure whatever you have on screen. It doesn't matter if you zoomed in or you zoomed out. It will give you the exact measurement of the item that you are measuring. So let's look at this truck. This truck is, we can see in the left hand corner, it's a three by seven eighths. That's the length of this truck. If I want the truck and the pumpkins. If I want to see um, the uh, length, I'm just going to go all the way down here to the tire and it's showing me one and one fourth. And the reason why you want to use this feature is because if you're just trying to measure certain things on the screen, this gives you the complete stitch out, the complete measurement um, of what you have in your window. Okay, so I'm going to go and hit, touch that and click off. And the save print, I'm going to show you how to do the print feature because I feel like that's important. So if you click on print. Let me uncheck that black and white. Um, this will print out your design. So this is a picture of your design. You don't need two pages because this design is not bigger than eight and a half by 11, which is a standard size. So if you had a design that was bigger than this, you will um, probably have to piece it together, but you don't have to do this. You can just make sure your design is centered in the hoop so and then it tells you all the steps okay so we have um discussed the the design window 
how to change your colors, um, how to modify and change your letters, your lettering. Now we're going to look at the order of your design. So it lets you know what's going first. So my name will stitch out first because in the order it says one. And C1 stands for the one um, design file lettering that I have. And then two is the truck and it will highlight it. So you also if you check out the video right here, there's another tutorial on brilliance as some more advanced steps but it's still beginner friendly. So check that out right after this video. I hope this video was informative and you got some tips and tricks along the way. I hope you understand the brilliance essentials. Um, in my next video, I will be stitching out some Valentine's designs to talking about the top sellers and all those great things. Also check out these two videos to learn more. Thank you for joining. See you crafty scholars. Bye.